What's up, Rock Mags? It's your girl Kai here, and welcome back to another wonderful ARC video. Today we'll be looking at the Tropio, how you may go about obtaining one, and how is the easiest way to actually tame one, and how you actually go about doing it, etc. All the details you need for this wonderful new creature in ARC. And remember, if you'd like to check me out as well, you can find me on Kyron Fire on YouTube. Now, if you're on the PC build at the moment, you can only get this guy on the Crystal Isles. However, if you're on the console at this current moment in time, you can get it from all the arc maps, but it is rare. Kind of like the RG, it is neutral in a way if you do piss it off, but apart from that, it won't attack you unless you provoke it first, which makes it very nice to tame. But it has a really interesting taming method that kind of no other bird really has at the moment, so you get to kind of check this out today. I'm going to show you how to do it right now, actually. First we're going to start off with this kind of trap, it's a very simple bird trap that you usually use to capture RGs or you can capture any kind of creature with it. So what it pretty much boils down to is five or less or more gates with a door on the end. However it has a twist because we need to make it so it's compatible for the tropio. So with this it has one door. These slots in between have to be big enough for your character to go through. So you can see right here, I'm going through all the slots. You want it like that, you don't want to be trapped. And at the end, we have a four foundation with a ballista turret on, loaded with chain bowlers. Now, why, you might ask, I have this kind of setup, and how is this thing not going to get out with no gate here? Well, you're going to see it actually is really, really effective. So let's go and grab one of the tropios. It might be a little bit of a pickle because I need to convert the aggro over because they are quite fast. I would probably use a pteranodon if you want an easier way, uh, like an easier time of doing this. Since they are quite fast, like the tapajara, they will be a little bit more tricky to get the aggro of. With, uh, with an RG to try and get it in the pen. So usually I'm going to convert the aggro over to the player from the RG, but at the moment I'm just going to hit it with the RG because that's probably going to be the easiest one. We'll target this guy, 150, max level, let's go, bring it up where I'm going, and let's bring it to the pen, make sure she or he is following us, very, very intent. You can see how speedy they are as well, my RG is barely keeping up with this thing and it's slowly gaining on me, so you do really do keep, have to keep an eye on it. So, yeah, but they don't seem to hit too hard, so that's a great thing. So it's nice, though, that they will follow you, unlike the Tapajara, which makes them a lot easier to tame. You don't have to go on a wild goose run. But pretty much, now we've got his attention, I need to now go and convert the aggro over. So it is going to beat my bird up a little bit, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. But if I can get it to come over to me... Come on, buddy. Let's see if I can get it in one go. That would be fabulous, wouldn't it? No! <laughs> Right, well, let's get it over in one go. I'm a little bit rusty. There we go. That will hurt, normally. So what you do, pretty much, you get it in the pen, you lock the door, and then you want to go about getting on this turret here and chain bow alluring it. And that's pretty much all it boils down to. Now all you need is the yellow kibble, so exceptional kibble, and you're to feed it through the bars, or depending on the angle it is in, you know, you feed it that way. So usually you want to go behind because now you've chain bowed it, it's going to be hella aggressive against you. But you can see here, we've got a pretty good uh, taming effectiveness and we can just feed it. If you don't chain bowler it, you can't actually tame it, so you do need to do it this way, but this is the easiest way i found of doing it so far. Once you've got yourself a tropio, the weird thing about them is you can actually ride them without a saddle. So you don't need a saddle to ride them. I don't know if that's supposed to be a thing or not, but you don't. However, there is an option to make a saddle at level 65, which is the saddle here with the booster and the mini turret on there. You, to kind of fuel these things, you need just normal grenades and gasoline, and you just put it in the inventory of the tropio, and that will fix it. To make the actual saddle though, you need a fabricator, you need to use 120 crystal, 450 fiber, 325 hide, 600 metal ingots or scrap metal ingots, and 250 polymer. And that's how you will make it. And then you're pretty much good to go with this guy. It flies like kind of a normal tapajara, so you have this normal tapajara flying noise, etc. 
However, Shadow makes up for it. It really, really does. So you have the boost here that we're about to do. So now we've saddled our bird, you kind of want to know how to fly your bird next. Now the sticks could be a little bit tricky and the controls could be a little bit weird. I heard for console the sticks do different things to actually activate it, but I know for PC the actual keyboard buttons for it. Since it's very early on there wasn't really any information on this so I kind of had to figure it out a bit. So with this, if you want to activate the engines, remember you need gasoline in there. You can click on control that activates the engines shift to power through you can also dive bomb in a way like the griffin to make you go a little bit faster although the screen shake is a little bit annoying and you can also do the same going up there's also another really cool thing you can do with this as well if you were to hit c you can do an evasive move maneuver to kind of get out the way and that's kind of how it goes and then also you can still use your bite attack while you're on this thing now you perhaps want to know how to use your grenades, all you need to do is pretty much click on your right mouse button to shoot away. You can do this in first and third person and it's pretty badass. So you can move, woo, out the way, woo, it kind of does like a backflip in a way. And there we go, we've got some enemies there, let's shoot down. Shoot these parasaurs! <laughs> That'd be pretty badass, oh we can take war on our own kind. Oh yeah, I thought I would mention as well, these actually require stamina, so when you're going along like this, you're using the jet, it still takes up stamina, so you do need to be careful you don't use all your stamina while you're on this thing. It might take a little bit of mastery to get used to, but you, I'm sure you'll get used to it eventually. We'll go back again, turn right back around again, and go and shoot some more of these tropes that are now really, really mad at me. So <laughs> it's pretty entertaining. And these guys are going to be a lot of fun to play around with on PvP and PvE, may I say. Because I'm having a ball. To actually aim properly though, you do need the crosshair on your target, so you kind of need to line it up. It can be a little bit slow, but I think that's pretty good anyway. And remember not to shoot it too close to yourself, because you can actually really, really hurt your tropio. So, yeah, that thing's considered. Now, if you want to stop your ride, you can see I consume quite a lot of gasoline already. I can even, the nice thing about this one actually, is you can have this on and you can go make yourself a cup of tea, right? You see where I'm going? You have this on, make, go make a cup of tea, go fly across the map to your friend's house and then not have to worry about anything. You can AFK and fly. <laughs> as long as you have enough gasoline, anything's possible in this world apparently. So, being that said, you want to stop by your friend's house, you just simply click control again to turn it off and then land. If you have the jet on it won't actually let you land so that's the thing and you can't actually shoot on the ground either so you can see I can't use my buttons here. As for breeding, Tropio is pretty much the same as any other egg layer, they will do the same time. You can actually check out Dodo decks if you want to see what timers for what multipliers to double check on the accuracy. Another really cool thing the Tropio can do is um yeah this looks a bit weird and horrible but Pretty much you can capture a monkey in your mouth. Something small with this. The catch is you do have to be in this mode. So you do have to be cruise moding and you need to use X if you're on PC to pick up. And it can be really really fiddly and if you just want to drop it again you can. But it only works on really really small things. I imagine it will probably work on people but that's really cool. I, I think that's a really cool feature that they've added in there. The monkeys are really really difficult to pick up I must admit. But, it is really really cool when you can kind of pull it off. I don't know what else we could pick up with this thing. Probably dodos, other shoulder mounts, things as big as a human. That kind of thing, which would be logical. But yeah, you do have to be in this little flight mode, so you do have to be quite skillful about doing it. But I thought that was pretty cool, because normally the other keys would just bring you up and down like it would do on a Tapajara. But that's pretty much how you pull it off on this thing, it's a nice little feature there that you can use. And there's my monkey again. I don't know if we got it this time. They're really hard to pick up. No, we didn't. Okay, we're gonna have to go in again. Which we can do quite swiftly, by the way. And then we'll try it again. Maybe we could try on this beaver if it doesn't go underwater. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't think there's no chance though on that one. Maybe I should try on a bunch of dodos instead. That would be a good idea, but now I'm gonna try with this monkey again and ooh. Did I get you? 
No! <laughs> but anyway, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!